In Madden, one of the most dangerous players on the field is the user defender because of how good or bad you can make them, going beyond what the computer can realistically do for you. And it's a spot where every moment of indecisiveness or aggressiveness is rewarded accordingly. So with this video, I'm going to go over a few things you need to start doing to become a menace to your opponent in the passing game. And maybe get up off of that defensive line to start causing more turnovers and take your game to the next level in Madden 24. So all right, let's get it. One of the first things you need to do after the snap is you want to use your peripheral vision to take in as much information as possible about the play and who's coming into your area that you may not see yet. Now for those unaware, your peripheral is your vision outside of what you're directly looking at. So if I'm looking at the middle of the field, I also want to be able to see things outside of the middle of the screen without moving my eyes. This is important. Basically want to extend your field of vision so you can see more things and by looking at the middle of the field instead of at a specific receiver, it's easier to do. The purpose of this is to spot things developing faster than again just focusing on the tight end or wide receiver. So using your peripheral vision, you start to see how routes are being distributed and who's coming into your area wide open as an immediate threat that you might want to engage with. You can bait people doing this leaving the middle of the field wide open so they think they can attack it and you're able to jump on whoever wants to uncover themselves into that area. Although I didn't get it, you see the thought process behind it. Now imagine you can see the guy coming open, but if you take a terrible angle, it was all for nothing. So taking proper angles covering receivers is the second most important thing you can do as a user. It's so important because it delays the receiver using their speed advantage against you and blowing right by you. And to do this, you simply want to run to where the receiver is going and not where they currently are. You're looking to cut them off. Because running directly at them, you're hoping the quarterback throws it immediately. Now if he doesn't, you're burned instantly and all the quarterback had to do is wait a second or so for him to come open again. Now if you take a proper angle, you delay the possibility of them burning you, which let's be real, they will if you're chasing them for long enough. But the goal is to delay this as long as possible by keeping yourself in the best possible position as long as you can. And you're also able to still defend the quick pass if they throw it. Now sometimes you're not going to be playing the angles and the routes are simply designed to test your patience. Quick underneath routes are usually bait unless it's third or fourth and short or you're blitzing, or if you notice every single route is going short, so you might as well attack it. Because otherwise its purpose is to get you to bite up so they can hit something behind you. And this is where using your peripherals while semi committing short can help you get back in time to create turnover opportunities. A simple rule to follow is anytime your instinct is telling you to start chasing something, ask yourself, is this a trap? Another skill you must develop is if they somehow have two guys open against your stout defense is baiting. Basically meaning you cover one guy to load it into their mind that he's covered and peel off to the next read and get yourself a pick. Now the better the player, the less likely this is to work, but you can get a good amount of people with a basic cover and peel depending on the route combo. You don't even have to be covering anybody initially. Just coming into the picture late from a fake blitz or you wait until the last possible second to react to the receiver and the quarterback not seeing you can create big plays as well. And lastly, I briefly mentioned, but blitzes where the flats are open can land you plenty of interceptions or near ones if your opponent isn't careful. This goes back to the, okay, he's open, but is he really? As you can undercut a lot of these passes to the flats if you take off from the start by just getting in between the receiver and the ball. It's all about the angles, y'all. To be an impactful user defender, you have to see, recognize what's happening, and attack taking the proper angle to make the most impactful play on the ball. So with that, I hope this video was able to help you out. And if you like the content we provide, make sure to subscribe to Sports Gamers Online for more Mad24 content. And once you're with us, hit that bell icon at the bottom so you don't miss anything we put out. All right, people, I'm Chris. Thank you all for watching and be good, y'all.